యశోధ ఎవరు తెలుసు కదా ఆ కృష్ణ పరమాత్మని పెంచిన తల్లి హలో ఎవ్రీవాన్ దిస్ ఇస్ సౌందర్య ఆదిమూతు ఫ్రమ్ ద క్వింట్ ఇన్ యూర్ లిస్నింగ్ టు డూ ఐ లైక్ ఇట్ అ క్వింట్ ప్రొడక్షన్ వే వీ రివ్యూ ఎనీథింగ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ అండర్ ద సన్ అండ్ ఇన్ దిస్ ఎపిసోడ్ ఐ టెల్ యూ డూ ఐ లైక్ సమాంత యశోద The title is borrowed from the mythological character Yashoda who is a foster mother of Lord Krishna and rightly so the plot revolves around a poor woman played by Samantha who chooses to become a surrogate mother but before we get into the review i just want to remind you hit subscribe and follow us on all podcast streaming platforms so why does samantha wants to become a surrogate mother to earn money and save her sister who's not well and help her with her operation or at least that's what we're told at first Yashoda delves into this complex world of surrogacy. You know how poor women, people who are struggling to make their ends meet, people who are stuck in patriarchy, how they are being forced into this multi-billion dollar business. However, it is just the first block of a huge, unsolvable, dangerous looking puzzle. The film also explores several deeper layers entangled in it, which is the cosmetic industry and the medical crimes. Just like her real life persona where she battles an autoimmune condition called myositis Samantha in Yashoda is a real fighter you know she is both gentle and fierce she walks into hell unarmed and literally turns every tiny resource into a weapon to beat her opponents whether it's cudgeling sculling shooting or fist fighting just with bare hands she does them all in an effortless fashion and despite being pregnant yashoda through those deadly punches and this power packed action sequences and that reminded me that i usually complain about feeling dizzy after a heavy lunch yeah i know wrong memories always pop up at the right time the film makes a very strong point on how a courageous fighter doesn't always need blazing guns and lethal weapons You know when life throws lemons at you all that you need is confidence and intelligence to make lemonade or other lemon soda if you wish but most importantly that courage doesn't necessarily have to be a man straight you know samantha has this mass dialogue which she says it in the most unmassy way but has this massy effect you know the best part about the film is how it explains feminism at its best Madhu a very cunning entrepreneur who's obsessed with beauty played by Varlakshmi Sarath Kumar she says that for a man to become a king he has to win a war however for a woman to become a queen she has to win over a king on the other hand her skewed view in the pseudo feminism is countered by a real feminist Yashoda who doesn't wait for her saviors the film is a blend of action and a relationship drama it touches upon sibling bonds and the emotional attachment between a surrogate mother and the child You know the film takes stances on the idea of money, realistic beauty standards and abuse of power and politics. The director duo Hari and Harish have presented an engaging mystery thriller by planting plenty of clues throughout the screenplay and the pre-climax was loaded with terrific twists too. While the majority of the payoffs were satisfying, some really did fall flat. And something that I really didn't feel connected with is the hastily narrated backstory of Madhu. you know which felt very artificially staged and you know with some sequences even being unintentionally funny however the art direction team has brilliantly used minimal and very confined spaces you know to fixate the audience on the screen the sets were very aesthetic yet uncanny you know it gives you this weird feeling of oh my god this is wonderful but also you watch it with a suspicion Samantha Yashoda has brilliant ideas you know it has impressive performances there is the stellar cast which includes Varlakshmi uh, you know Unni Mukundan Sampad Divya Kalpika Murli Sharma and Shatru so many people and the film has its heart in the right place despite these exciting ideas it chooses a very generic narration with a truckload of cliches had they avoided them probably Yashoda would have been a masterpiece So after all this talk do I like Samantha's Yashoda? Yes, I like it for its novel ideas, but not really for its execution. And that was this episode of Do I Like It. Follow us on Instagram at the Quint and tell us what you want us to talk about next week. And check out our website thequint.com for more groundbreaking reports and videos. This was Sandeep Adimuthu and I'll see you in the next one. Do I Like It is a Quint original podcast hosted by Sandeep Adimuthu, executive produced by Shelly Walia and Ritu Kapoor, produced by Anjali Palod, edited by Prateek Lidhu, uses audio from Yashoda, theme music from BMG Production Music. You were listening to the Quint's podcast.